Now today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be reviewing a short film entitled Desperado's Duel. Now, Desperado's Duel is written by George McCann and directed by George McCann and Lucille Sealit. Now the plot for this particular short film is how a drifter and an outlaw confront their past at Desperado's Duel where their dark history leaves their lives in the balance. Now, this particular short film is a western and it involves elements from a Once Upon a Time in the West along with Unforgiven. Now, even though it involves elements from those two movies, this short film can stand on its own two feet as being an original western. What I really like about this movie is the cinematography because the cinematography is really a standout in this film where they use a particular color of Applewood, it makes you feel like you're actually part of the West back in the 1800s. And the, the costume design really blends well with the cinematography. And another strong point for this film is the directing. I think the directing was really, really solid, where you can tell that these directors were really confident in what they wanted to do and what they wanted out of the story, per se. And I think that the directing was really cut, precise, and executed really well. Now, for me, I think the weakest point of this movie is the writing. What I mean by the writing, I think the character development could have been a lot better than what we got. Now, like I said before, it has two characters in this movie. It has the outlaw and the drifter. Now, for me personally, I think the drifter, you don't really need too much of a backstory out of him because for me, I personally think that drifter is mysterious. So you don't, you don't really need too much of a backstory from him. But the dialogue they gave for the drifter was pretty perfect because he didn't get too much of his backstory and he didn't get too little. I think he was just right. But I think the main issue for me was the outlaw. We didn't get nothing out of the outlaw as far as character, as far as character development goes. I felt there were missed opportunities as far as you could expand about his character a lot more with certain scenes. But we didn't get that. The outlaw was pretty much silent throughout the whole entire film. And I thought that really hindered the movie a lot because... Like I said before, with a drifter, you don't need too much of a backstory. But as an outlaw, I feel that his character should be more proactive and you get to know a little bit more of his character. Because especially if the synopsis says that their history leaves their lives in the balance, or their dark history leaves their lives in the balance, I feel that we should get a lot more of the outlaw than we did with the drifter. Even though the drifter's line of dialogue was good and it was perfect, but the outlaw should have more of a dialogue stealing scene, in my opinion. Because I felt that the outlaw should be more of a proactive type of character more than the drifter. And I felt that was a wasted opportunity there. And another flaw I found with the movie was the fact that the certain camera angles were a little bit sketchy than I would have liked it. There's one particular one I found a little bit distracting where the scene that they did take with this particular camera angle it was kind of it took me out of a, it took me out of the scene where I was focused on that particular thing rather than the character itself, and I felt it took me out of the scene for a little bit where I was more focused on that particular setting than the character itself. I thought that the angle that they got could have been a little better, or they could have had used another angle to shoot from where it wouldn't have took me out of that scene for the most part. With that being said, Desperados Duel is a decent, solid short film that I think with the the flaws that it did have are very easily correctable and I really did enjoy the short film for what it was. So I'm going to give Desperado's Duel a three and a half out of five stars. And I think that the flaws that they did have in this movie are easily correctable for the next short film. And honestly, besides those flaws, I think this is a solid good Allen for our first time director. And I think those flaws are easily correctable for the next one. So the short film comes out on the 18th. I'll put the link in the description box below so you guys can check it out when it finally do comes out. And definitely um, let me know what you think about it in the comments below and also let, comment on the video itself and let the director know how you feel about this film. As always guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.